Okay, check out this beautiful little DC motor that a year 12 student of mine made. Runs really quite nicely, but I made a suggestion to them, instead of having, instead of having two magnets stuck there like that, it might have been better to actually put the magnets on a radial magnetic field like this, um, so that as the coil went by, it was nice and close to the magnetic field each time. And also, that that direction of the magnetic field would always be perpendicular to the axis of rotation, giving maximum torque. Another student put their hand up and said, what about, sir, if instead of having the magnets attached to the um, bars here on the side, what about if you actually attach the magnet next to the coil? So sort of glue the magnet on next to the coil. That way, it's always in the magnetic field and it's always at right angles to it. And I thought, what a good idea. I think I'll give it a go. So, let's test his idea out. So I've done the modification. The magnets are now glued right next to the coil. And so that current in the coil will experience, you know, a maximum force the whole time. And uh, the force will always be at, at, the force will always be perpendicular to the axis of rotation. Let's give it a go. Three, two, one. You're kidding me. It, oh, that, it actually works. <laughs> Woo, check that out. You saw it here first. Invented in Australia, the new motor, coming to a washing machine near you. That is awesome. Woohoo! how good's that? Okay, all right. You're smelling something a bit fishy? Yeah, it goes against the laws of physics, doesn't it? Let me show you something. You ready? Take the power off. There's a little motor. There's a little motor driving the motor. Unfortunately, it can't work. Yes? That magnetic field does exert a force in that coil, but Newton's third law explains why it can't really work. That, that magnet exerts a force down on the coil, that means the coil exerts a force up on the magnet. And that means the net force is actually zero, and so there'll be no acceleration. It's a little bit like trying to lift yourself up on a chair. You can like try and pull the chair up, but when you pull the chair up, the chair pulls you down. So even though someone like me might be able to bench press their own weight, <laughs> um, even though I pull up on the chair, ah, as I pull up on the chair, the chair's pulling down on me. Net force zero, not going anywhere. Sorry for pranking you. Oh. <laughs>